What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite apps for the Google Nexus 7 by Asus. Now this list is specifically tailored to the Nexus 7. Uh, if you ask me what apps I use on my phone, it's gonna be a little bit different. And uh, that's because they're different devices and they're for different things. So let's just talk about what you should install on your Nexus 7. If you're like me, you're probably gonna to wanna to use Reddit as fun. Um, if you have an account, go ahead and set it up. It'll let you keep track of pretty much everything that's going on in the world. Pretty cool site. And Reddit is fun is the application that I found to be the most uh, easy to use as far as viewing Reddit. So there you go. When you first get your Nexus 7, you may, you know, take a look at it and be like, there's no camera. Well, you know, this thing's not really designed to be a camera, but if you really want the camera and you want to be able to record little silly videos and upload them to the web, I'll just show you what to search for here. Search for camera. And there you go. Camera launcher for Nexus 7. There it is. It's already installed. You can go ahead and install the camera launcher for Nexus 7. And there it is. It's your standard camera. What is up, guys? Yeah, do some vanity. What's up? Just chilling with my peeps. Yeah. What's up? I don't know why. why. Why do dudes do that? They get in front of a camera and they're like, puff my chest up and all that stuff. Of course, you can take pictures too. I um, highly recommend Duckface. There it was. What's up? I look so skinny in that picture, bro. Yo, I look so freaking skinny. All right, let's get out of there. And again, that's Camera Launcher for Nexus 7 right there in the Play Store. Okay, next up, Google Drive. And there's also Dropbox. You can use either one of those. I'm not going to really get into it, but yeah, Google Drive is pretty good. All right, Netflix is really, really nice on the Nexus 7. Uh, in fact, it runs just as good as it does on any iPad, iPad 3 included. So I'm really, really happy uh, with this app. And uh, it's good if you like movies or if you like TV shows like Archer. You should probably be watching Archer because Archer is awesome. If you're a member of Steam, you'll like the Steam community. Go ahead and open that up and show you what it's like. Just called Steam if you search for it in the App Store. In, in Google Play, that is. So when you open it up, it'll ask you for your credentials. It'll let you chat. It'll also show you all the deals. I'm not going to log in right now, but you get the idea. It's basically Steam without the ability to play the games. Now, you readers out there, thank God that some of you still read, and thank God there's a lot of people on Tech Syndicate that still read. Uh, you guys are awesome. This is my favorite ebook reading app. It's called Eldico, and it's a premium app. You can get a free version, and it does 99% of the stuff that the premium app does. I've always had the premium app because I feel like reading is something I should invest in. So here's all my books. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do when you're here. Uh, let's just show you the shelf view. Uh, it's taken a while to update my shelf because I just imported a bunch of books, but there should be a lot of books in there. Oh no, it went away. You can search for your books there. Let me just open up the books and show you some of the cool things you can do in here. All right, so we've opened up our EPUB here. It takes EPUBs and you can just throw them in there if you've already downloaded them somewhere else. Now, I'm running this in dark mode right now, so it's like nighttime. Let's uh, skip to a chapter, shall we? We're going to go to Tyrion, because Tyrion rocks. All right, there we are. Now, you can see here I've got it in uh, nighttime mode, which is um, white text on black background. It's really easy on your eyes. And check this out. If you're just sliding your finger up and down on this side, it lowers the brightness and then raises the brightness back up. So it's really handy if you're reading in the dark, really easy on your eyes. Uh, if you want to view it in the standard way, you can just click on this and click Daylight. Give it a second. And we are reloaded there down a little bit uh, some of the other features of this let's say there's a word you you do not understand there we go so you see when you just um, click and highlight a word or you can drag it to a whole phrase it will allow you to look that word up in the dictionary search it copy it or even share it if you click share it's gonna bring up a list here you can share it with all your friends if you have something like a interesting passage or something it's not what we're gonna do though there we go click on dictionary over here and check this out. It's going to bring up the definition right here, all the different definitions, the pronunciation, and then if that's not enough, you can search Google or search Wikipedia. So that's why this is my favorite ebook app. It doesn't have the, the pretty page turn animation, so I'm very sorry about that for all you guys who need the pretty page turn animation. You can turn the pages by sliding, you can turn the pages by tapping, or you can turn the pages by using the volume up and down button. So a lot of options with this program. Highly recommended. The standard task manager is really nice. If you want to get rid of a program that's open, let's say you want to get rid of a DOS box, you just slide. Oops, there they go. They're closed now. There's an easier way to do this, and I use ES Task Manager because it does more than just 
you know, control what tasks are running. It will allow you to kill all your tasks and free up all your RAM. So that one button click just cleared, you know, all my tasks. And then I can clean my cache. It's a simple program. And if you want to optimize your power to make it last longer, you click, click optimized. Be warned, that turns off all your wireless connectivity. So it usually turns off just about everything that's running. So you're going to be careful with that one. The Google Plus app on this is so good that you may actually want to start using Google Plus. That's how good it is. <laughs> now this is a Windows machine, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to scroll around quickly. But you said uh, Wozniak. Uh, Wozniak added me to a search. <laughs> Wozniak added him. Wendell didn't add Wozniak. Wozniak added, added Wendell because he knows what's up. Hugh Jackman is on here? Is he one of your, in one of your circles? Uh, I might have added him. Huh. I think he's uh, trying to rip off my, uh, my persona there. With the whole Logan thing. I don't know. If I trust that guy. Anyway, really nice app. I'll let you guys play around with it. The Hangouts and everything work great as well. If you're addicted to DayZ, this may come in handy. It's a map of the world. And it has, uh, you know, controls, legend. Uh, but check this out. When you get into, like, a city here. Let's say we're going up here. Where's the city? Maps. There we go. Now it'll show us the city here. You click on it. Brings up a close map. How nice is that? That's enough of that. There's another program here that I don't like as much. It's a little too simplistic for me, but if you have, if you want something to organize your Facebook, your Twitter feed, and you know lots of different articles and that sort of thing, try Flipboard. You can sign up for an account, and I don't really use this too much, but everyone keeps recommending it, and I'm going to recommend things that I know are decent, so this is getting a lot of, a lot of recommendations. Uh, if you're interested, check it out. All right, if you're nerdy in a hardware way, check out ElectroDroid. ElectroDroid is a really, really handy tool. You've got all these calculators here. You've got, uh, you know, like, you got Ohm's Law. It's pretty awesome. We've got all sorts of information about tons of stuff that you can order online and well, stuff you used to be able to buy at Radio Shack, like capacitors and, you know, resistors and that sort of thing. All the information you can ever need. And there's even calculators. You know, you put in your variables and it gives you information. That's not my special, special area. Pinouts, though. Oh, this makes me happy. Check out all the pinouts. We've got USB pinouts. Look at that. Moving on down here. HDMI pinout. Uh, you guys will probably use this one a lot, and especially in conjunction with our video. That is an RJ45 pinout. Ethernet pinout. How about that? So, really handy app to have. Tons of resources here. Batteries? What's all this? So, that, that's, a, that's a really fun app, ElectroDroid. More of a tool than an app. So, for RSS, of course, you've got Google Reader. Now, the reason I'm going to recommend Google Reader is because you can hook it up with Google Currents. Google Currents is the answer to turning all of the stuff on the internet into a nice magazine that you can read right on your tablet. So check this out. Uh, we've got all these here. you got Forbes. I actually read Forbes because I'm a, <laughs> a nerd that way. But it's turning the entire Forbes RSS feed into a magazine. It's really pretty. Let's go back here. You can add more. There's lots of stuff here. And uh, there's other. So you can add your own, you know. And then your Google Reader. I don't have Google Reader currently installed on this. But if your Google Reader is that, it'll sync up with your RSS feed that way. It's RSS 2.0, finally. Pulse is also nice. Um, if you're that, that's a little bit too much for you. You can check out Pulse. It's similar. It'll let you hook up with your RSS feeds as well. Um, and it'll also let you, you know, add different content. Let's add entertainment. Woo. You know, go through and pick all your stories. But it's not quite as nice as Google Currents. Google Currents is like a, a better realized version of Pulse. I have turned the unit sideways. If you don't like the way this works, you can download Apench Launcher. It's a new launcher that does support horizontal views. And there's also a plugin that will allow the default uh, Nexus 7 interface to support horizontal, but I haven't done that yet. So last but not least, it's time to play some games. But I don't want to play any Android games. A lot of them are uh, shallow and boring. So we've got Scum VM. Scum VM will allow you to play all of the old scum games and that means all the old LucasArts adventure games like Monkey Island, Day of the Tentacle, Maniac Mansion, uh, Loom, The Dig, all those games and a lot more. Uh, so go ahead, I've got one of them installed here just to show off what we can do. Mm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Sense. It makes me feel great, smarter, more aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like 
like I could. <laughs> Take on the world. So that should get you started with your Google Nexus 7. Again, if this was a phone, I would recommend a few different apps like Scout Mob and stuff like that, but it's not a phone. It doesn't have the same functionality and you're not gonna be pulling it out of your pocket every 10 minutes. So the apps are a little different. If you're looking to do something specific with this device, and I didn't mention it in the video, head over to techsyndicate.com, check out the forums. There's a lot of Android users in there and a lot of us just picked up the Nexus 7 and we're all really willing to help. So if you have specific questions, head over there and we'll help you out. Until then, uh, let me know what you think of the video. Rate and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I don't want to see these people. All these celebrities get out of here.